Here it is. Here it is. Oh, welcome back to Smell This. My name is Liz. This is the Halloween episode. And before you quibble with me about, you know, things like time. Yeah, I'm, I'm well aware it is November 1st. I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay. I just, I, I, the scheduling work, whatever. I, I couldn't do. Okay. So just, I'll write, whatever. We have a lot to go through. It is also the last episode of the season. Um, by the season, I mean, maybe I'll be back in the spring. I don't know yet. I'm not sure. I, I had a lot of fun. I really, really did. Um, it was wonderful to have this outlet and it was wonderful to not feel so lonely. And there were times that I did. So it was wonderful to have something to look forward to. And I, and I certainly did. Oh, what's this book you ask? Oh, well, let me show you. Ooh. Okay. This is The Secret of Scent. Now, if you'll recall, Paul, here's my perfume book. Did I not? <gasps> the perfume Bible. I forgot it. Okay. Bo, would you make yourself useful? No? Mm. I'm sorry. I thought I was fully prepared, but you know. Must be done. Must be done. Sorry. Favorite people, not my two favorite people. I mean, that's 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 something else. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So, okay, <clears throat> perfume Bible, right here. Hello, perfume guide A to Z. We've discussed, okay, in several episodes. It's written by two of the best people in the whole world, Luca Turin and Tanya Sanchez. I often refer to this and take it with me anytime I am able to go to a store and sniff. You know, I haven't done that in many many months now. <clears throat> and, oh well. Anyway, this is co-written by one of the authors. This is Luca Turin's The Secret of Scent. It's mad. No, it's fantastic. It's wonderful. I highly recommend it and look at it. One fluid ounce. <laughs> I know, isn't that the cute? <laughs> so cheeky. Cheeky. Uh, Luca Turin, by the way, is a, uh, he has got a PhD in biophysics from the University of London. Ooh. Um, look, this is... <laughs> Really? Must you? It's the neighbors. Calm down. Anyway, sorry. I'm not even expecting a package. You bastard. Anyway, okay, so there's a lot of chemistry in here. I got a package. I got a package. All right, great. Um, I didn't order anything. Anyway, there's a lot of chemistry in here, okay? So by chemistry, I mean he's actually talking about the chemical uh, molecular breakdown of the molecules involved with the, with, with the perfumes. This is fascinating. It really, really is. Uh, TBH, I, I do skip over some of the chemistry because I don't really, I don't really get it. I don't, I didn't pay attention to chemistry. Did I take chemistry? I never took chemistry. <laughs> so there you go. Um, however, it is fascinating nonetheless. Um, fascinating. <laughs> in fact, he has a wonderful uh, spot in here somewhere. I'm sorry, I should have grabbed a bookmark, but I didn't yet. Um, anyway, he's got a fascinating thing about here in here about the complexity of perfumes, how um, adding a bunch of different compounds, be they natural or synthetic, and it's fully explained in here, trust me, um, can <laughs> make a perfume even more complex than what you imagined. And that made me think immediately about, about um, zoologist perfumes. The most complex, I think, that I have done in this series, the zoologist perfumes, complex. There's a lot involved, okay? However, we're not talking about zoologist perfumes. We're talking about Hexanoct. You ready? Yeah, I've been drinking. Deal. Okay, so Hexanoct, again the perfect perfumes, the perfect website for the goth chick guy in your life, okay? Ugh. And all of the perfumes that I purchased for the Halloween episode, again, okay, um, for the Halloween episode are very spooky themed. Now that's almost all of their perfumes are <laughs> all spooky 
<laughs> um, but these are especially so. So, are you ready? I think you are. I've got my wine. I've got my phone in case. Oh, let me turn off the wine for now. No, I'm not going to turn it off. Just in case. Okay, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little nod to my very favorite um, comedian. His name is Eddie Azard. I think I may have mentioned it before. Anyway, it, whatever. <clears throat> the first <laughs> what I've got here is called, this is Mephistopheles. Now, I do have, of course, pre-filled cards. I trimmed them down a bit because they're just, they're just really large. But anyway, this is Mephistopheles. And are you ready for the notes? And they say, according to this book, don't read the notes. And I was right all along. I didn't know I was right all along, but you shouldn't read the notes. You shouldn't even look at what's in, you shouldn't even look. You should just smell. And your first impression should be whatever. Okay, so I, I've written down notes. However, I'm just going to ignore them for now. Okay. I will, of course, be including links to Hexanoct. Um, also to the decanter from which I got these <laughs> because I had to go through a decanter. Unfortunately, not everything I wanted was available. Again, they're they're having a little trouble. <sighs> Get, ooh, I just opened it. My, pardon me when I just completely forget what we were talking about. I don't care. Anyway, I went through a decanter. <laughs> Oh, okay. Mephistopheles, if you recall, have you read Dr. Faustus? The um, Faustus, okay, okay. So Faustus wanted um, power, the love of a beautiful woman. Of course, she had to be beautiful. She just couldn't be good. She had to be beautiful. Can you just look past? No, they can't. They can't. They're not able. It's just one of their things. Okay, so let's just take a reading here. That is very smoky. It's, oh, this reminds me of something a bit waxy. I'll be honest with you. This smells like right after you blow out a candle. Well, not even a scented candle, just a regular candle. Huh. It reminds me a bit of a church, which is funny because uh, Mephistopheles is basically a uh, German demon. German. So I'm expecting some things uh, hopefully to remind me of the uh oh, whoa this is mad and I love it you ready okay okay this uh, okay you ready dead leaves pine cedar yes fall air yes laurel not sure how to differentiate laurel from everything. I don't know if it's, I thought it was just divine. Hmm, what do I know? Um, balsam. Okay. What's smoke? Okay. Clove bud. Oh, that could be the, mm, the patchouli mushroom and soil. Maybe graveyard soil. That would be super cool. Ooh. Oh, a tip. Don't take soil from a graveyard into your home. Don't do it. Don't do it. Some people do that. Don't do that. It belongs there. It's consecrated ground. Don't do it. Oh, we watched. Oh, let me see. Uh, the uh, <laughs> started the night with, um, of course, Halloween yesterday. So started the night with uh, Disney's Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Do you remember the Ichabod Crane one with the one voiced by Bing Crosby? Oh, never shut up. And then the ring. Why I've been wanting to watch The Ring, I don't know. Uh, the American version, not the Japanese version. Oh, uh, this is, okay. Whoa, whoa, okay, all right. This this does smell like consecrated earth. This smells like a, a graveyard. It smells like a graveyard in the fall, okay? And there is possibly herb gardens nearby. It does smell like something kind of dead, but sweet. Dead, but sweet. That's the name of my book. That I get to write. That's it, sweet. Don't steal it. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It 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 is it is fantastic, and it does have this kind of quality of being near a churchyard. 
the wax, um, after you blow out a bunch of candles, a bunch of candles, like a really large birthday cake, <laughs> but without the sweet. However, there is sweet. Ooh. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. It's very earthy. Very earthy. Um, I would say the soil and the balsam and the mixture. That's closed. Because I'm probably going to use this in a lotion or a candle. <laughs> uh, I didn't get a whole bunch of like pine or balsam. And that's fine. Those are rather overwhelming. Rather. Okay, what's next? What's next? What is next? Mm. Oh, by the way, sorry, this is what they look like. When they come from the decanter, the decanter is the GB. And I'll include links. It's okay. It's okay. I just couldn't get all of these from Hexanoct. And I'm like, oh, well, mm. let's just go through the decanter. And so I did. All right, this one is called Blood Moon. Blood Moon. That's the first one here. Okay, this one has Dragon's Blood. I'm pretty sure it's not actually sourced. I have a feeling that it is synthetic. Dragon's blood is synthetic. They're not, they're not going, they're not gonna use regular dragons or any dragons, regular or otherwise. They're just not. Okay, uh, smoked vanilla, tobacco, beeswax, and musk. Okay, blood moon. Last night was a full moon. I don't know if we're having another one tonight. Last night was wonderful. And I stayed indoors, I did not, go outside at all to be under that moon because that moon last night is what they call i've heard a chaos moon which makes sense it's 2020 do i need to remind you <laughs> do we need more chaos no no we do not um so i didn't go outside at all and um hopefully everyone was safe and sound because it's very important to protect yourself because, you know, normally the moon, sister moon, she is watching over us with kindness and love. But sometimes you gotta protect yourself. This smells like honey. This smells like, it's very sweet. It's very sweet. Okay, and that's possibly vanilla. I don't get a huge amount of tobacco. These are oils, by the way, y'all. These are oils. Um, oils I have found, I've discovered, take a lot longer to dissipate than the EDPs. Love the EDPs. There are some that I just cannot and will not live without. However, the oils I've discovered, if you put them on something that is not heated, will stick around longer. And that is further explained in here. Okay. So if you put them on clothing, the oils will stick around longer. If I cover this, in oils, I'm good, all right? Absolutely good. If I put my, it in my hair, I'm good. That's what I do. And this is marvelously sweet. It, oh, 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 there's, there's the dragon's blood again. Synthetic. Hint of incense, and that's the dragon's blood right there. This is very, very kind. I like it. I like it. Love it. It's a little too sweet, but thank heavens for the water, uh, for the dragon's blood to like lend a punch of mystery. And that's what incense does for me. <clears throat> okay, moving on. All right. Oh, oh, someone did raise a question. And thank you for asking, Nikki. Nikki, thank you for asking. Yes, this is wasteful to use the bags, but you have to preserve the fragrances. This is what they do, the professionals do at the ISIPCA, that wonderful school uh, outside of Versailles. They always put the fragrances in a plastic baggie to preserve. That's why I'm doing it. And I didn't really realize that until I read the book, but that's what they do. That's what the professionals do. They put them in the plastic baggies. Am I going to recycle these baggies when, when all of the perfumes are gone? Of course I am. I am a huge lover of this planet. I I promise you, I will be recycling these. Promise. And the cards will be recycled. Everything goes back. I promise, I promise, I promise. But it's a good question. Thank you for asking. What's up next? Oh, <laughs> this is the Grady twins. Now, do you remember the Grady twins from The Shining? Do you? They're the little girls with the, the with, not with the axes, that were killed by their dad. Um, sorry, they're out of order. The Grady Twins. 
um, in The Shining. And mm, creepy. Come and play with us. Yes, those are the Grady twins. And um, come and play with us, Danny. Not now, Mrs. Torrance. Okay, sorry, that was a little creepy. Um, yeah, obviously, I went for a spooky theme with these, but that's that's easy to do with Hex and Hot. It's all myself. Um, and they, I'm so glad. I'm so glad they're around to do, honestly. It's a wonderful house. Again, they have well over 100 standard in, in, in their library. Okay, well over. I promise you, you will find something amazing. And no, I have not bought laudanum yet. I will, I promise, I will. Laudanum is still number one. This is, oh. Okay, now this one has layers. I remember this, writing this down. It was um, violet lavender, and then, here's where the creepy part comes in, wood and metal to represent the axes, the axe that killed them. And you definitely get a ton of light, violet from here. So it is very sweet. This is kind of a little girl perfume. And there's the of metal. It's a little girl perfume, but it means a lot. It's got an impact. Cool. Yep, there's the lavender. Okay, so it's mostly just a little girl perfume. There's not a huge amount of like maturity in this one. It really reminds me of like what a doll smells like, a perfume doll. Did I mention? I can't remember which one. I'm sure I mentioned before the Charmkins, um, and they were all perfumed. And that's kind of what this smells like. It smells like one of those. This smells like a little girl who will hopefully not perish in a really horrible way. No, of course not. Next up is Amityville. Amityville, Amityville, oh, this one right here. Okay, Amityville is mostly pumpkin. Pumpkin, sugar, vanilla, and marshmallow. This is gonna be super sweet. Okay, it's not exactly what I imagined Amityville to smell like. I kind of expected it to smell like kind of a, a haunted house. Okay, but it needs to be mentioned that, oh, what is he? Punch a pumpkin. Holy cow. Um, it smells like a spiced vanilla, no, spiced pumpkin latte, the thing that all of the pre karens buy. Um, it's true. Whether or not your name is Karen, you have enjoyed a pumpkin spice latte, have I? Can't really say. My, I, I always get a chai. I get a chai, I get a dirty chai. With, uh, with two shots of espresso. That's a dirty chai, two shots. Mm-hmm, that's some good stuff. I haven't been to Starbucks in a long while. But, yeah. Dirty chai. Ooh, right at my nose. Mm. It's, it's a pumpkin spice latte. Okay, so that's what this is. Amityville needs to be mentioned that that whole thing turned out to be a hoax. Absolutely. After what's his name murdered his family, um, parents and like 22 kids, not 22. I don't know. It seemed like a lot. Anyway, <laughs> after he murdered his family, um, the family lawyer came up with, or his lawyer, I should say, came up with the idea to, you know, blame it on the devil. As you do, um, blame it on the devil. And it just became, you know, a bunch of horrible movies. <laughs> but turns out later, <laughs> I think just recently, in fact, Maybe even last year. Turns out later, the author, or the the lawyer admitted, or the um, what's his name? My oh, God, I can't remember his name. Something or other. Anyway, admitted. He's like, no, I did it. The devil didn't make me do it. I did it. And so, yeah. So goodbye, Amityville. I did read the book. Um, who cares? Speaking of books, um, this one is Hannibal Loves Clarice. Can I tell you how much, how much, how much I love Thomas Harris? I do love Thomas Harris so much. I do love Thomas Harris. However, the last book, Hannibal, you have to give Clary Starling a better ending than that. You have to. She's too pure. She's too good. You have to. 
they change the ending in the movie. Um, and with good reason, which is why I prefer the movie. Anthony Hopkins, of course, is amazing. And long may he continue to be. Do you follow him on Facebook? He often posts um, videos of him playing the piano with his cat. His cat is named Niblo. Niblo! Follow him on Facebook. He will not regret it. He is just a darling, darling man. I love Anthony Hopkins. And I'll be honest with you, I love Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Love. He's like my favorite. He's like the one fictional character I would be so sad if I disappointed. <laughs> it's like it's like the dad I always wanted, just without all the murder. Okay, this one has cherries, almonds, blood orange, and a fine. Well, at least the, on, on the label it says a fine Chianti, but we all know the line is a nice Chianti. <laughs> and it does smell very uh, Kool-Aid, actually. Cherry Kool-Aid. Nice layer of almonds. Um, the blood orange citrus. Citrus. Sorry, citrus. Bitterness of the Chianti. Is this is nice. I'm gonna make this into a hand lotion. This is half full. I'm gonna make it into a lotion. It is just oh heavenly. Yes, it's very heavenly. I really, really, really love it. And normally I do not care for perfumes that smell of food. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Hannibal Lecter. <clears throat> yes. Yes, those almonds. Such a nice amaretto. Mm. So far. Ooh. This is magnificent. <clears throat> yeah, so far I think that's probably my favorite. And that could be just because I love him. I just don't ever want to disappoint him. He's so concerned with um, vulgarities versus class, I suppose. Not classes in like, you know, a social structure, but just like, right? do, do you have class? Do you have that? Infinitesimal. I'm not saying it right. Obviously, um, quality that just uh, separates you from the vulgar. You know, do you have that? And I hope I do, because it would just it would break my heart. And then he could eat it. That's fine. I'm cool with that. It would break my heart if I were to disappoint him, because I try to live a life apart from vulgarity. I don't want to be that. Not at all. Um. <clears throat> Gonna go somewhere else with that, but I didn't. Um, next one is called Unholy Water. I was not raised Catholic, <laughs> but I kind of wish I were because I don't know the traditions. I mean, just apart from all of the scandals. Oh, sorry, stick bonds. Did I mention? Of course, again, these are these are from the decanter. Uh, apart from all of the the scandals that the Catholic Church has gone through and deserved. Um, yeah, the traditions, the incense, the patchouli, the this, the that, you know, the, uh, the stained glass windows, the, the feeling of community that you can get when you go into a church. Yes, <laughs> I, I admire that and I would like to have that, but just without all the, you know, judgment and stuff. Okay, this one has dragon's blood, Palo Santo, which I assume... Santo, sandalwood, I'm honestly not too sure about this one. Palo Santo, I should have done some research. I did not. Sage and cedar. I was expecting some patchouli. Wow. It smells a tad antiseptic. Who knows what that was. And yet, and yet, it's comforting. Where's the comforting? It's the word I overuse. Something kind of, it does smell a bit like water. It does clean, clean, clean water with a dash of like fur or balsam or something. Sage? Is it? Oh, the cedar wood. Oh, that's right. 
Maybe the cedar wood stands for the crucifix. I don't know. I'm not Catholic. I'm also not Christian. <laughs> also not any of that, actually. I prefer to go around the outside. <laughs> it's safer that way. It is. You protect yourself. Ah, this this does. It smells like a it smells like a church pew that's been in a river in say Germany in the woods. And there's pine and there's balsam. It smells like a pew that has been in a river and it's a beautiful river. It just it 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 does. It smells clean. It does. Mm, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Oh, this got all weird. Sorry. It's brand new, and I was like saving it for the Halloween one. <laughs> Where were we? Who knows? Okay, this is Children of the Corn, which is just corn. <laughs> it's supposed to be caramel corn, kettle corn, candy corn, which I'm no, I, I mean, I'll take it if it's the only thing available in the whole wide world. I'll eat it, but whatever. It's not my bag. Um, but we had no trick-or-treaters last night because, of course, I had uh, neglected to, weirdly, put the light on because I'm not going to support children out wandering around and getting sick. Nope, not going to do it. <laughs> and their parents are stupid. I said it. If you love your kids, take good care of them. Keep them indoors and just hand them a bag of candy. Or uh, multiple bags of candy. Give them diabetes, not COVID. Okay, that's my new, that's my new thing. I don't really care. Okay, yeah, this smells really, really sweet. Um, butter, butter, butter. This is basically a stick of butter, a sweet stick of butter. I would spread this all over popcorn <laughs> and eat it. It smells amazing. Oop, I got a little truly. <laughs> There's nothing sinister in here. Have you read Children of the Corn by Stephen King? It's a short story. I can't remember in which collection he's written so many. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. And then his son, later on, Joe, he goes by Joe Hill because he doesn't want to be like, I'm writing on my dad's coattails. And he is a fine author all on his own. He really, really is. He and his dad actually did, uh, co-wrote, I wouldn't say a sequel, but just like, an extra little like Children of the Corn thing. Um, gosh, I read it first in Esquire and then I saw it for sale somewhere and I was like, mm, no, it was very disturbing. Very disturbing. What do you expect? Anyway, where were we? Children of the Corn. Yes. It's very sweet. It's very buttery. It's very kettle corn. It's very fall. But I do wish it had more of the fall air in here, just like the other, I think the first one we did. Oh, these are all out of order. Your honor, you're out of order. Okay, anyway. Uh, two left. Sorry. <laughs> it's my last episode. All right. Come on. Last episode for a little while. Oh, this is Norman Love's Mother. And if you don't know what movie this is from, <sighs> then you need to expand your horizons. This is Hitchcock's. Probably not his greatest, but I would say his most well-known. This is from Psycho. Norman Love's Mother. This is Psycho, the original. It's fantastic. Uh, the new Psycho, I can't remember the director. I think it was Gus Van Sant. I could be wrong. I could look it up, but I don't want to. Um, anyway, just basically frame for frame, but in color and with different actors, obviously. Um, I saw it. Vincent Vaughn did a fine job as Norman, but Anthony Perkins was better. Ugh. The original is 99% almost always better. Almost always. Ooh, a little painful, that one. Ooh, not one I've smelled before, cardamom, which is, um, I believe they're sold in pods or you can buy it ground. It's used a lot in Indian cooking. Oh. Traditional Indian cooking. Uh. Oh, and also, and I do want to read actually the notes here because they kind of made me laugh. Um, earthy cardamom, rich vanilla, deep dark patchouli, and dry woody notes of an old teak 
good rocking chair. And if you've seen the movie, you know. I won't spoil it. <laughs> Someone's in a rocking chair. Deal. Probably, you know, Engelbert Humperdinck. Engelbert Humperdinck? He's fine. Just hanging out in his rocking chair. He's fine. Anyway. <laughs> I guess I'm hanging out. Mm. It's... <sighs> It is. It's yummy. The teak wood rocking chair thing, the teak is kind of making it a bit more masculine than everything else. However, I think the second one was pretty masculine. So this is rather a nice masculine as a beard oil. If you've got a beard, go for it. I might buy this for my friend. I have a coworker, Robbie. He's got a beard and he's just, oh, he's fantastic. I love him. Um, no, no, like that. No. Um, <clears throat> and I threatened to buy him some beard oil because he's got one of those things on his face. This one might be it. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not going to buy him something I'd love, 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 love because that would be awkward. He's, he's got a thing for another coworker, and I'm totally shipping it. I'm really happy for them. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry. Yes, yes, I do appreciate beautiful, sweet, adorable couples. Sometimes uh, we all know it doesn't last. Okay, which board? Um, dark patchouli, amber, vanilla, and more cardamom. Pardon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying not to pour so much because I would really like to use some of these in a candle. <laughs> or, 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 um, these you never smell from the container. You think it, it is my last offering to you all for this season and you think I would know this by now don't sniff from the container it's completely concentrated what you want to do is help it disperse again that book that I mentioned earlier it talks about disbursement and um, the concentrated form is far more powerful than what you actually will get once you put it on caramel sorry that's not written here. <laughs> I mean, it's not there. The smells, uh, to be honest, it's a bit, it smells synthetic. And of course, a lot of these are, look, all of these are, I believe, all of these are vegan. I will say that. Synthetic, I'm not certain because I haven't gotten to that part in the chapter yet. <laughs> Natural versus synthetic. Uh, we may have, but I skipped over it. I'm not sure. Okay, there's the patchouli. You know what? The oils are heavy, okay? You have to let them rest. So while we're letting them rest, I'm just going to real quick mention, okay, <sighs> one of my favorites that I have discovered throughout this entire thing, Posy Perfumes. I did, was it last one? I don't think it was last one. I think it was the one before last. Posy Perfumes? <laughs> I love them so much, and I want to let you guys know, you guys, you guys and guests, everybody, uh, life forms that can watch. Listen, they're having they're having a sale right now. I'm kidding. A sale. There you go. 24 hour flash code or flash sale. Can you see? 24 hour flash sale. Just go to Posy Perfumes. Just go. Okay. 20% off all orders over $50. And I'm heading there right after we're done here. Um Enter code Happy November twenty at checkout, and it's from noon today to noon tomorrow, twenty four hours. So again, Posy Perfumes. I'm gonna get more of the Madar and the Via Diodati, which which turned out to be amazing and wonderful, and I love it. Well, I already knew I loved it because, of course, during the review, I was like, "Oh, this is amazing!" And so I bought it, and it's like, "Oh, yes!" So I put I put it all over a scarf. I did. I just raked it through and now it's just all over me and I love it and Madar I'm not sure if I loved it loved it loved it at first but holy cow it is absolutely absolutely my favorite in fact I, I bought this um a little thing for uh Robbie's um co-worker's object of affection I, I bought it and I was like I can't give that to her until you got it because she said she was like whoa you smell great and I was like oh it's this and then Again, I ship it. All right. Okay. 
However, <laughs> when she sent me these, she also sent me a, um, a sample of Kathy. Anyway. So this is, sorry, a bit, bit of departure from Hex and Act, but I love Posy so, so, no much names. I know nothing about Kathy, except that it's spelled with a C, and I don't really approve, and it, I prefer Catherine with a K, I'm sorry, I do. Okay, Kathy, Posy perfumes, vegan, cruelty-free, blah, 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 of course it's cruelty-free. <sighs> this is Kathy, and I think it's from Wuthering Heights, because again, Posy is all about books, literature, and um, tea. Oh. Tea. I also bought some amazing tea. It smells like early morning sunlight. Early morning. Wow. There's a difference. Fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Fresh. Green. Green. This is lovely. Dang it, Posy. Joelle. Joelle. <laughs> Thank you for the sample. I really appreciate it. I absolutely do. I'm going to head over and buy some, okay? Uh, right now. Was there anything else I need to talk about? Because I need to go buy stuff before you all beat me to it. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope to be back in the spring. Not sure. I don't know. I have so much perfume to go through. Gosh, we didn't do a recap. Gosh, real quick. Okay. Gosh. Gosh. Gosh, let's go back to the 50s. Okay, I think we started with Mephistopheles. Oh, recap real quick. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know you've got stuff to do. Recap. Cinnamon, masculine, trustworthy man. <laughs> um, let's see. Next up, Grady Twins. I don't know if this is in order. <laughs> Grady Twins, remember? No, would not buy. Um, okay, gosh, I don't know. Okay, that was near the end, wasn't it? Blood Moon, Dragon's Blood Vanilla, blah, blah, blah. I think I liked. Grady Tim's was a bit disappointing on the dry down. Give it 20 minutes. Do not wash your perfume. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Honey. This is honey. Oh, I would like to stir this into a really nice tea, actually. Okay, Amityville, no, that doesn't feel right. Water. Am I missing? Oh, I'm missing. Oops. Oops. No. Okay, maybe it is. Okay, Amityville. All right. Butter, popcorn. Oh, this is the pumpkin one. It's very sweet. Very, very sweet. Super sweet. Could be a really nice candle in the fall. Um, unholy water, the pew in water. Whoa. Wow. Unholy water is fabulous. 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 Holy cow, there's something about unholy water. It makes you want to drink it all day long. I'm kidding, don't do that. Um, Hannibal loves Clarice, cherries, almonds. It was really, really sweet, and I talked too much about it. Whoa, that is very sweet. That is very sweet. Holy cow. Almonds, cherries, yes, it's very, very, like, fruity. Yeah, not fruity, not citrusy, not citrusy, just fruity. Okay, but the almonds are a nice layer. I will give it that. Uh, well, children of the corn, that was the last one. Okay. So, oh, which board? Which board? Maybe it stands for Ouija board. I don't know. Which board? No, which one is it different? Ooh. This smells like a church pew that has been like disintegrated over time, and no one has gone into that church for a very long time. No one and nothing. It's just been left alone. It smells like um, a hope chest. There's some cedar. Is there cedar? No, there isn't. It says dark patchouli, amber, and cardamom. Maybe it's the cardamom. It smells a bit like cedar. That one is interesting. It is very, very interesting. I would say very complex. Um, Norman, Norman loves mother. Every boy loves his mother.
Okay, masculine, yes, but not heavy. It's not heavy. This isn't heavy. I like it, but it's a little too not heavy. You know what I mean? I just, it doesn't feel like it's going to stick around. Okay, and children of the corn. Yeah, that's just, uh, that's popcorn and butter. That's popcorn and butter and a dash of salt. I love it. Go to Posey, okay? Serious, go to Posey Perfumes, P-O-E-S-I-E, -E, and take uh, advantage of the sale. It's going to be amazing. But don't go too fast because I need to get there first, okay? Kathy is lovely. Wow. Roses, Rose. Oh, an English garden is what Kathy smells like. Wow. Okay. Well, I might have to buy some Kathy. Bye. Okay. I might see you back next spring. I don't know. Listen, be safe. Safe. <sighs> I've been saying this from the beginning. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Um, yeah. And I agree with that. It still is. Stay safe. Wear your masks. Stay out of the public if you can. Please stay safe. I hope to see you in the spring. Be well drink up. Thank you so much.